If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Ultimate Kickoff promo. Ultimate Kickoff promo is going to be a fun one. I'm going to be predicting all the guys I think we could be seeing in this ultimate kickoff promo. I will be excluding lower players because guessing the 82 to 83, 84 overall guys is just a nightmare, guys. There's going to be plenty of them. And quite honestly, I'm pretty sure EA throws, they probably have a dartboard in the EA office. And they're like, all right, these are all the base leads and high goals and just throw them. And they're like, those are it. The high ones, I think there may be a little more thinking into. But when it comes to low players in a promo, those are just fillers half the time for sets. So I won't be predicting those, but I'm excited, guys. Ultimate kickoff could be a really fun one. This year's in a different year because this year you can get excited for more types of players because of the way this game plays. Yes, the fastest guy is exciting, but I also have a lot of fun with Brandon Marshall, who's not the fastest guy. If I see a new running back, I don't just look straight for speed. Like Saquon's one speed technically slower than LT was and some less sad, but he's better than LT. And I like that. I like that the game plays this way. It sort of helps counteract thresholds a little bit. When it comes to like, you know, quarterbacks always had the release thing, which kind of messed with them. Now there's, uh, you know, quarterbacks are the skate artists and still run a lot better, which messes with it a little bit too. Then there's, of course, height. Then there's, of course, strength and weight and stuff. So a lot of other factors play into it this year, which make players overall better. So I do like that this year. So I'm excited to go over these predictions with you guys. Now, before we get into the video, today's Poodle Squad shout out goes out to Joe W. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. You know, the channel you want to be shouted out. Like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, be subbed to the channel. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. Now, let's get into this. So, for our first prediction, guys, so I expect it'll be something similar to last year. I'm thinking four heroes, one master. So, I'm going to go through my predictions for the heroes. Now, if you guys don't know how this usually works when it comes to Ultimate Kickoff, I made a video going over it. Ultimate Kickoff's a fun promo. Go watch that video and you can check out everything. So, the first player on this list. Now, again, this could go a lot of ways. I had a few guys that I did want in here, but when the overall is too high, sometimes you won't always get an upgrade there because it doesn't make sense. Now, I think I put a double space there, which probably messed that up. Uh, I did it again. All right. I did the reverse now. So the first guy we have in this list is Trent Brown. Trent Brown, right tackle for the Patriots, I believe. He's a perfect, he's a power up. He's a base lead. If you remember last year, last year, the players were a little bit like some names, some just a lot of lower overall elite so they can get their upgrade. Now, Trent Brown for the Pats will be a pretty decent right tackle upgrade. He'd probably get about an 88 overall, which would make him one of the better run blockers. Uh, one of the better run pass blocker. Do, uh, he's a hybrid. He could do a little bit of both. Now, his run blocking finesse and pass blocking finesse is the low points of this card. So you have to understand that he's not going to be the best zone blocker. But he's going to be great at standstill blocking at the edge. And, of course, he'll be a great power power run blocker. So that's really good from that standpoint. Trent Brown would have a nice card. 6'8", 380 pounds. I can see him getting a card. Now, like I said, these cards would be 88 overall cards more than likely or around there 87 88 89 that's kind of how i expect it to go this year so that'll be fun ultimate kickoff is definitely gonna be a fun promo now remember if they do do it similar to last year that means they do a master with a set where you can get back some of the cards in that so that's an option trump brown could be a pretty good option if you guys get back now remember this is only a predictions video but i should be decently close i'd suppose depending so next guys we have uh, another guy who if we get this card this will be a really exciting muck card denzel ward he kind of matches up exactly with what you'd expect Denzel Ward would be a low 80 overall elite who has the potential to be one of the better corners in the game. Only 25k. His power up is decent enough because, of course, he does go ahead and get... I mean, you guys know. He gets good speed, right? So Denzel Ward right here is basically card. I want to go down because sometimes they get bought out while I'm trying to show them in videos all the time. Denzel Ward would have 87 speed, 80 excel, and 83 overall. Low, you know, low zone press and man, but... If he gets this 88 plus a power up, that means it'll be about an 89 overall. You could suspect that his speed would be around a 91, 92. And that'd be crazy. Like 91 would be crazy for a Denzel Ward card off the rip. 91 speed, 92 excel. He'll have above 90 agility. He'll have close to 90 jumping. And of course, his man would probably get up to like an 87, 88, which means some uh, strategy card should get you up there. And his zone will be above 80 and press. He would just be the fastest corner in the game, or at least up there for it with, with strategy cards and everything. You can get him crazy fast. His change of direction will be above 90. He'll be one of the, he'll be like a meta card for this type of Madden, the way it's playing this year. He has that speed. He'll have some of that change of direction. He'll have some more agility. He'll out move like kind of how Ed Reed feels right now. And I like that. This Denzel War card would be really cool. Hope we get one of them now. Of course, guys, there's a lot of players that can go from 83 to an 88 overall upgrades. Nice. Same thing with Trent Brown. If we got this card, he'd be the probably the best corner of the game, or at least up there for it. Now, he remember, he won't get the overall and he won't get exactly threshold coverage. 
but people will pick that speed and everything else and especially because it's a ward card ward card just carries weight to it these days because you know the scary fast ward cards you usually get when you get those kind of guys you know ward just has that name already now guys it wouldn't be an ultimate kickoff promo or an early promo if we didn't get a slow harrison smith so i think we'll be getting a harrison smith because again it just wouldn't it wouldn't be madden if we didn't get a harrison smith card and you guys know that right harrison smith is just well known for getting that early on card in a promo where you're like and he comes back as nat too that's always the best part because then you got to you have to like stay with him too harrison smith is definitely the kind of guy who i could see getting an ultimate kickoff hero now he'd probably be trash he'd be a decent linebacker honestly if you put him there he'd probably have like an 86 speed uh decently high hit power and zone i personally think this car would be horrible but like i said if I know EA well enough, Harris Smith is coming and he's coming soon. They always give him a card and there's always an option to get him back Nat or they force you to get him back Nat. I just know he's coming. I'm surprised he wasn't with the Superstar MVP promo. He's, he's there as well. Harrison Smith has just been the boon of Madden. That's like that guy that they can throw in there. It'll make some people happy. It's an elite name, but it won't change the meta of the game because he's never that good. Now he's six foot two. He will have hit power. He will have some agility and some zone. Now, again, at an 88 overall with a power up, I'd say... 86 speed if you're lucky 85 86 speed but again the hit power pretty good the zone pretty good the pursuit play rec excel the height now let's go check out the block shed as well because that could maybe make it a little bit better uh block shed block shed block shed 70 blocks that's not that's not horrible actually so this car would be pretty decent i'd put him at linebacker though i would not rock him at safety he's too slow especially in a year where safeties get ran by even when they're fast so the fourth and final hero before we get into the master is going to be mike evans mike evans makes sense as well another guy that could pretty easily go ahead and get a hero card one of the better receivers in the league as well as he kind of has he has like that same build of a guy who they want to upgrade as well now he's only an 83 overall so an upgrade to an 88 would leave him at a plus five to um his overall mike evans would be cool in this in this game specifically is because he's six foot five 231 that's like saquon barkley weight plus like crazy hype that's, that's pretty much brandon marshall all over again this car would be really good now the only thing with him is going to be his route running is pretty low which is going to it's going to hold him back but an 88 overall version 89 overall version of this card would probably end up with around 88 speed 87 speed so he's going to get a lot faster going to be similar to again brandon marshall in that aspect then he's going to get probably spec and catching traffic will be close to 90 his route his deep route running will be close to 90 but his short and medium will be like mid low 80s uh, anything else good that he will get the jumping will be above 90 at six foot five which is just absurd he's gonna get pretty decent carrying he'll get um i mean his he's not really great with the ball in his hands he'll get above 80 break tackle he's kind of built like a tight end honestly mike evans would be cool i don't think he'd be meta just because of uh the lack of route running but he's gonna be good like you can still like i won't make he won't be your wide receiver one the guy that you can just like expect to run ins outs curls slants he's the kind of guy that you have out there and when you see him open or you need to make a big play, you can just chuck it up because his height, jumping, and catching traffic and spec catch may just make it happen. If you can't afford Brandon Marshall, this would be like a budgety, budgety height version. But again, Brandon Marshall has the route running, the after the catch, the juking, the trucking, the stiff arm. He's, a, he's just the full combo. But Mike Evans would still be really cool. I would like a Mike Evans card. I could really see this happening as well. Now for the master, a lot of people, I feel like this one's a very believable master. Honestly, I could really see this coming. I think this as a master would be very fun with the way this game is played as well. And that's Ezekiel Elliott. I think Ezekiel Elliott's a great option for the master. 82 overall card. It kind of did him dirty stat wise. Although I know he had a down here, but his team was also very hurt. I mean, it is what it is. Zeke Elliott, 82 overall. Remember, Zeke is 228 pounds. So he's going to be decently up there in weight as well as six feet tall. Zeke as the master would probably be a 90 overall, 91 powered up. That would be a nine plus increase. I could see the Zeke coming in with an 89, 88 speed. 89 speed for Zeke, which would be powered up, chemmed up 90. That would leave him with a plus, a 90 or above agility, 90 acceleration, high 80 uh, change of direction, high 80 trucking, mid 80 brake tackle. That would leave him with, let's see what else we got here. Strength would be in the 80s, which is really good as well. Jumping above a 90, which this year hurdling's a little bit better. Good stamina as well. Probably like a 94 stamina, 95 stamina. Uh, change of direction again gonna be good Bra ball carrier vision his stiff arm would actually be high 80s which i wish was in the 90s actually juke and spin would just hit mid low 80s this card would be really good above 80 break tackle i think a zeke hero would be really cool with the card art as well i could see it coming now the thing with zeke though is that he may not get above he may not get above 90 speed he may just get 89 to 90 base which would kind of suck because i know saquon and lt are already there and saquon weighs more which again which, which will probably keep saquon as the meta back 
but they could they could do Zeke better. They, they could really go all out and give him like a 91 speed, which I'm not sure if they would do. But this year, if you've noticed, guys, they've been overriding. Like, see, it's a plus five overall, right? But instead of focusing on that, they're giving them stats that are usable. Kind of like how Kyle Pitts, Najee Harris, Trevor Lawrence, all these guys have speed stats that are like Michael Parsons that are above their typical overall range. I like that. They want to make these cards usable. So again, they could give Zeke a 91 and let him go wild. 91 speed base. That'd be crazy. Or 91 speed powered up, which would give him the plus one on everyone else. Plus, you know, strategy cards. Of course, that's all separate. But he'd be, he's a super well-rounded back, which at this point in the game could work out really well with the way this new engine plays. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. You need coins to get ready for some of these promos that will be coming. Head over to my reserve and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. That's about, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.